Hi, right, and welcome to another um, GCSE higher tier revision um, section. Um, this video is going to be on tree diagrams. This is topic 128 from that GCSE higher tier revision workbook from Edexcel. Um, I would recommend you have a go at these questions before you look, watch the video. Uh, this is just going through the solutions. Um, all right. Uh, question one. A jar contains uh, four yellow sweets and six blue sweets. A sweet is picked at random and not replaced. The second sweet is then picked. Complete the tree diagram for this information. Um, so there will be a two mark question. I like this two mark question. Um, the, the filling in the tree diagram is quite uh, straightforward. Uh, so if we have four yellow sweets, that means that we've got six blue sweets. Um, but uh, for all of these, we've already taken a sweet, so the denominator there becomes nine. And we, we're not replacing, so we need to look at this in a little bit more detail. Uh, so if, four, if there were four yellow sweets and one had been picked, uh, the second probability of picking is there are only three yellow sweets, so it's split over nine, uh, which we could simplify, but I'm not going to just yet. Um, yellow and blue, uh, we've still got six blue, so it's six over nine. Uh, for this one, we picked a blue first of all, so there would be four yellow sweets left. And then for the final one, we picked the blue, so there would be five um, blue sweets. Um, and as I said, I could simplify these fractions, but I'm going to be working with these. And currently, all of these branches would have the same denominators if I didn't simplify any of them. Um, but there we go. We'll talk about that as we get to it. Uh, so uh, find the probability that B, the second sweet, is yellow, given that the first sweet is blue. So that's a, a very specific Given that the first sweet is blue, so that's saying that this has happened. So the probability of it being yellow is just 4 out of 9. And that's just this branch, this probability. Both sweets are yellow. And so for both sweets to be yellow, that's going to be this branch here. So we can find that by multiplying. Uh, so we're going to end up with uh, 2 over 5, uh, sorry, 2 over 15. Um, and I've just checked, uh, the answer in the back of the book says 4 over 15, so they've not simplified it, which is fine, um, but I would strongly recommend you to simplify. Um, and then part D, the sweets are different colours, so the sweets being different colours, You don't get confused my working. That's going to be this branch here and this branch here. Um, and this is part of the reason why uh, I don't really recommend simplifying this into small parts because when we're adding fractions, they need to be out of the same denominator. Okay, so I'm saying 4 over 10 times by 6 over 9. Um, and then uh, 6 over 10 times by 4 over 9. Right. Um, and we'll leave it like that. So uh, 6 times by 4 is going to be 24 uh, over 90 plus uh, another 24 over 90. So that's going to be 48 over 90. Um, and then we can cancel them by, um, by quite a lot. Um, what can we cancel them by? Six, I think. Yeah, six goes into both. Uh, it goes eight times into 48, and it goes 15 times into 90. So that would be my simplified one. Okay, uh, question two. Uh, the probability that a certain disease occurs in a population is 0 0.15. If the patient has the disease, the probability that the screening procedure produces a positive result is 0.7. If the patient does not have the disease, there is still a 0.1 chance that the test will give a positive result. Find the probability that a randomly selected individual does not have the disease but gives a positive result. Okay, um, so tree diagram can help for this, um, so I'm going to do a very, very basic tree diagram. 
put the thought and it comes. Uh, so, certain disease, so I'm going to say disease and not disease. So the problem, certain disease in a population is 0.15. So I'm just going to put the information from the question first of all. If a patient has the disease, the probability that the screen is produced is positive. So we've got positive and negative, positive and negative. And then the question states, if a patient has the disease, the probability that the screen is produced positive result will be 0.7. If the patient does not have the disease, then there is still a 0.1 chance. Right, um, so I'm going to fill in the rest of the values by working it out. Um, so if probability of having the disease is 0.15, probability of not having the disease is 0.85. Um, positive result of 0.7, negative result. A positive result in the screening test. So we're looking at this branch here, which is going to be uh, 0.85 times by 0.1, which is going to be uh, 0.085. Gives a positive result to the test. So that's going to be, uh, we've already worked out one version, so we're going to do that one as well. So 0.15. Uh, times by 0 0.7 uh, is going to be uh, let's just get the calculator for that 0.15 times by 0 0.7 and uh, 0 0.105 0 0.105 and to that we need to add the other probability so plus 0 0.085 and then that's going to give me uh, 0 0.19. Okay, and um, that's that section. Um, so I hope you found that useful. Um, please subscribe if you like.